Hey, and welcome back to another Master Classic Math Make Math Make Sense Math Special Math Video. I'm your host, Shalongo. Today we're doing finite geometric series word problems. No biggie. Wordies, no biggie. Let's take these words and make sense of them. Uh, before we start the problem, just to recap, we've got the geometric series formula over here. And then the I'm just kind of giving you a little outline of what each of these uh, letters means in the formula. Cool, and we're going to be using this um, as we as we pick this one. As any word problem, the first step is to read. I'm going to make some highlights of numbers. Numbers are important in math. A new shopping mall records 100 in total shoppers on the first day of, of business. Each day after that, the number of shoppers is 10% more than the number of shoppers the day before. What is the total number? And I'm going to change my color here. Sorry. What is the total number of shoppers that visited the mall in the first seven days? So the yellow highlights are things I know, and the reds are things I know I don't know. So I know right away that I don't know the total. So we know for sure we don't know S of n. If S, and, if S, of, S sub n is the total, we know we don't know it. Let's figure out what we do know. First number, 120 shoppers on the first day. If that, um, wow, what a bad circle. If that, if that word doesn't give away what letter that goes with, I don't know what will. A represents the first term. This is saying, hey, the first day we had 120 shoppers. That's obviously gotta be the first term. So A represents 120. 10% more. 10% is a ratio. We know that the ratio is 10% more. We're gonna have to figure out how to convert that in a minute. And then the last number that we know is seven. And since the only remaining number or letter that we haven't identified yet is N, then we know that that must be the number of terms, which makes sense because it's the number of days. How many days are we trying to add up? We're adding up the first seven days. So that's the number of terms. Um, so we've got everything that we know. We've, we know what we don't know. The last thing we gotta do is 10% more. We've gotta convert this to a decimal so that we can use decimos. And this, is, most students might say, hey, 10% is 0 0.10, which they would be right. But we're talking about 10% more. So 10% more would be 100% of what, of the number of shoppers that were there the previous day, plus 10% is what 10% more means. And so if we can per, if we convert 100% plus 10% to a decimal, we can convert 100% to 1 point and 10% to 0.1. So 10% more as a decimal is 1.1. And that should make sense. 100% plus 10% per, plus 10% will be 10% more. All right. Now I'm going to just put in the information in this formula. So we know that we don't know S of n. We're going to leave that. We know that A is 120. We know that R is 1.1. And we've got two R's, so we gotta do that twice. And then we know that N is seven. And now we know what S of N is. Round your final answer to the nearest integer. So if you don't know rounding rules, uh, you should look them up, but we're rounding down here. I think we're rounding down because it's 0.4, so it should just be 1,138 1, is my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Da -da -da! Yes. Okay, Q2. Each year, Francisca earns a salary that is 2% higher than the previous year's salary. In her first five years, at this job, she earned a total of $187,345. What was Francesca's salary in her first year at this job? First year at this job. Okay, we know what we, we've highlighted what we know, we highlighted what we don't know. Let's start with what we don't know. What do we not know? We don't know her, her salary her first year. If that doesn't, if first doesn't give it away, I don't know what was, I mean, there's another first right here, right? First five years. But this is A. We don't know A. This one, we don't know A. 
How much did she make her very first year? We don't know. So let's get 2%. 2% has to be the ratio because percentages are ratios. 2% higher. We know that N has to be, well, we don't know what N is yet. We know S of N. What's S of N? Total. If that doesn't give it away, I don't know what does. So we know the total is 187, comma, 345. And which means that the number of terms here is five, five years. That should make sense. That's more intuitive. N is always going to be a little bit more intuitive. All right, so now let's replace what we know um, in the formula. Uh, we've got to convert real quick, 2% higher. So again, 2% higher would be 100% plus 2%. 100% as a number is 1 and 2% is 0 0.2. And now we can go ahead and plug in the information into our formula. So we know that the total is 187,345 equals fraction. We don't know A. So I'm gonna make A. I'm gonna leave A right now. One minus the ratio, 1.2, nope, 1.02, sorry, to the power of five. Close that parenthesis, and we've got 1 minus 1.02 in the denominator. And now we now we got an equation that's a little bit different than the last one we had. The last one we had, the total was not given to us. We had to find it, and so we were given this um, expression was replaced with numbers. It was an entire expression with numbers, so we could simplify it to get the total. Here, the, the value we're trying to find um, we have to solve for. And an easy way to solve in Desmos is to replace the variable you're solving for with x to get a line. Now you can see as soon as I changed that, I got a line, right? A, no line, boom, x, line, cool. And if we're solving for x, we're gonna zoom out to find where the line crosses the x. And it crosses at 35,999.914. That's a rounded decimal. Um, the answer is asking us to round our final answer to nearest thousand thousand so the nearest thousand would be five we look to the hundreds place which is a nine so we're rounding up to thirty six thousand i'm pretty sure so how much was her salary her first year it was thirty six thousand i think i should be more confident 